All right, welcome back. This is round 14 for Germany. Status of the board, he has absolutely just bombed the shit out of Berlin. And it's totally defunct. So I have 23 IPCs left. And it's kind of a gamble, but what I'm going to do is... I've decided I'm just going to buy three tanks and put them in Italy. Take this territory back, this territory back, and this territory back. Bank the rest of my money... And then the next turn, if he if he doesn't just attack with all of his stuff, um, repair my uh, repair my uh, my industry and build a bunch of troops there for defense. So and then these three tanks can actually help um, to to attack. But I'm figuring I'm going to spend the 18. I would buy planes, but. I only have 23, and so I can only I can only have uh, two um, two planes, and I'd rather get three tanks instead. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that, and then we're just gonna try to take a couple of these back and hold. So let's go to this real quick. We're not going to repair at all. We're gonna buy three tanks, leaving us five IBCs left, which is not a lot, but it is what it is. So for the combat move, we're going to take these two guys and go up there. We're going to take three of the planes and two of the bombers. And then we are going to take one of these tanks, blitz it, and bring it back. And we are going to take one guy. And we're going to take the two bombers and the two fighters. And we're going to hopefully capture some of this stuff back. Uh, but we'll see. So that's all we're going to do as far as combat. I thought about throwing a tank or two in here. But really, unless I take all 15 tanks and put them over here, that can deal with this here. Um, I probably should do the math. 21 guys... Two tanks, seven fighters against 15 tanks. He's going he's gonna to win. And all I have is 15 tanks. So he's going to win that. So I, I've got to do... I've got to get a little bit more um, material, at least, to go into the Ukraine, which I don't have access to right now. So not going to do that right now. Hopefully, I'm going to be able to press, press him with Japan. Um, he's got a sizable amount of stacks here. But I am hoping upon hope uh, to press forward um, and kind of uh, make him do something with this. Probably this way, um, but we'll see. We'll see. But right now, we're just going to do this with Germany. It's going to be another short turn, but really that's all we got. So let's do this here. Everything's strong. That's an insane freaking uh, insane result there. All right, all the planes are going back to Germany. Oh man, that's just terrifying. That's pretty friggin' terrifying. Um, I am shocked by that. But that that's what you gotta do. So he had two units. I should have taken three guys there, so um, even if he got two hits, I'd still hold the territory, but I figured at least I'd get 50, 50 that he'd miss with one guy. But he didn't, so um, we didn't take that. It would have been nice to have the extra two IPCs, but we just got to now keep treading. Uh, hopefully, he's... I mean, he's at some point, he's going to attack with all this stuff. He's got a lot of... Uh, he can probably do the 1-2 this turn. He can do the UK and then the USA. 
And then even Russia, maybe. So I don't know if I'll get another turn with Germany. But we will see. That will do it for Germany's round 14. Mannix is up for UK's round 14. And I'll see you back for Japan round 14. Okay, UK 14. Still not entirely sure if I want to actually move this, these guys out. It would kill Germany, but it would sacrifice Russia. I'm wondering if I can just do both. Just as in kill Germany, but also hold, hold Moscow. So I'm going to hold off actually for now. Keep bombing the shit out of... Uh, Oh, no, 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 <laughs> It's already bombed to death. That's fine. Um, we'll do two. I know you can destroy Italy in one shot, but likelihood is we're not going to get... On average, we're going to hit three, aren't we? So if we can hit three in both, and we've destroyed it. Um, yeah, let's do this as well. Let's crush that. And fly this in. That's overkill on, <laughs> on Poland, but we may as well, I suppose. Why not? Um, nothing else to do, I don't think. I, I could say France, but... Mm, just means to moving the entire fleet out, and I want to just keep shipping into Baltic, to be honest. We can. All right. So if they push forward, actually, what well, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Well, I was thinking the long game. Then I, I'm in a situation in another game where I've got Germany dead. I'm stacked in the Belarus in Belarus against Japan, who's stacked in uh, West Russia, and he's got control of Caucasus and Russia. And Russia's got control of Poland and Belarus, which is super annoying because Russia, Japan refused to trade them back. Because he knows that four extra income in the U.S. hands is is far worse than having it just dead and not in Japanese hands. Because it, as the Russians with, without Moscow, they've got it's just dead income in in Central Europe, which is a was a bad mistake by me. I should have foreseen that happening. But yes, yeah, so I'm going to try and <laughs> if it does get down to a Japan versus you know UK U.S. ending, I'm going to make these hopefully get him to trade these back because this is valuable stuff. West Russia will fall because that's normally where Japan stacks. Um, but I'm hoping he trades your crime back, but we'll see. Anyway, let's move everything in. Get some decent numbers now, I think. In, uh, I'll move the tanks back. Uh, well, I'm, I'm dead zoning this, aren't I? At least I, I, I'm, he, he's thinking I am. I don't really want to stay here, but. It looks like a good enough deterrent for now. Curious where these are going. I think it's it's a it's a starting to be a push towards Africa now, which it should be to grab income. Makes sense. Um, if you back to the fleet. All right. Oh, like a 405 just crossed the 400 mark and 299 so healthy lead I'm not sure what the best move is honestly I, I feel like what I probably need to do I probably need to once these, this 11 arrives I need to calculate um, I need to calculate if we can hold this with just the US and UK against Germany and if we can, we can pull back these guys, the Russians, and then swap out, you know, swap them out for these American, UK troops. And then we can have just, just Russia holding itself, holding the defence by itself, and uh, the UK and the US can finish off Germany while Russia deals with Japan. That's the game plan anyway. We'll have to just figure it out. It's a bit awkward at the moment, so sort of defending with multiple nations in mul multiple areas, which isn't ideal, but... We'll uh, do what we can. Germany's pin though, which is nice. It's got limited income to some extent. 30 IP, well, as it stands now, 23 in actual production. Then there's a lot going to go after going to repairs if he wants to deploy anything. So He's going for tanks, which I don't think is the right move. I, I understand the reasoning behind it, because you want to minimise your repairs and still get troops out the door. But I think uh, 
I think infantry is probably still the way to go, but yeah, you know, so I think we're in a we're in a commanding. I guess the the thing is right now we're in a we're in a lead, aren't we? So if we just sit sit and hold what we've got, I suppose inevitably it's going to end up in our favour. The more we ship into, obviously, yeah, to Baltic. This is this is this stack's growing quickly, and the Germans are not. So <laughs> sooner or later we're going to be able to overwhelm them. You know. Even without all these extra stuff, the planes, yes, but not these uh, twenty so units over here. So I think we just sit tight, let the Lewis, uh, the U.S. logistics do its work. No, I think we'll eventually be uh, in a situation to overwhelm them. I would like some more U.S. planes. There, we've only got what's we got seven, eight. Must have like ten or twelve. But what I normally do is add those at the the last round, even though it's risky to add them here because they can get taken out. But still, we could add some. Bom Maybe we we'll add some bombers in the U.S. like two rounds before we attack, and one, two, and two rounds. Anyway, back to you, Cobra. All right, welcome back. This is round 14 for Japan. State of the board is that Mannix is now just methodically bombing the shit out of all of my industrial complexes. India's down six. Italy's down six. Berlin's down 20. Um, he's got a, a nice couple of stacks here that's kind of pinning me down. And he's given up. Uh, he backed out of Persia. But at any moment, he could just bum rush back down here. So we are going to shore this up a little bit. But I am not going to repair this this turn. So what I'm going to do is instead I'm going to have a nice little stack here. And I'm going to reinforce it with some artillery. And we're going to build a bunch of more guys. All right. So let's go to the units. Let's go to the land units. Let's buy five artilleries. And eight infantry. All right. All right. So for the combat, we are going to use one guy and take Vologda. We're going to take this, land them here, and land the two guys there. We are going to take one plane and kill the transport here. And I want to take Persia back. So let me take one guy and the two planes. Let's see if we can't take it back. I think that's all we want to do for combat, as far as combat. Okay, we killed that. All right, all right. Let's look at it one more time. All right. Oh, yeah, we got to move this little guy here, too. We can do him on the non-com, though. So... All right, I think that's it. All right, so our plane can go back. We can go to the map nodes and delete them. All right, we'll move this guy up here. We'll move this guy over here. All right, so we're going to move this guy up here. Back this guy off. Move these guys down. Move this guy, these guys up. We are going to take five guys. We're going to move them here. Three transports here. Drop them in Burma. We're going to take these three transports and move them up to C-Zone 62. And let's see what else we can do here. Oh yeah, these planes are going to go back to... Uh... 
see zone 36. Actually, you know what? We can... Do we want him in Season 36? Yeah, I guess it's okay. Alright, I think that's going to do it for Japan's round. For the non-combat move. So now the mobilization. So we drop two artilleries there. Three artilleries there. And eight guys back in Japan. And that will be it for Japan's round 14. Pretty short round. Um, but I think this is going to be good. I mean, he doesn't have really any transports in the area here. So it's going to take him a couple of turns to come back here to Africa. So in the meantime, we can steal some IPCs, bleed him. If we want to throw an industrial complex here, since we now have 50 IPCs, and just start a, maybe an Africa stack here, uh, we might do that. If he doesn't manage to take this transport out, which I think he will, but if he doesn't... Ooh, I should have put the planes here. Oh, well. Um, we'll probably take Madagascar next turn. Because that'll be a free one that he's not going to get around to capturing, probably. So that will be okay. So we're going to have a decent stack here in Anway, protecting Shanghai. We're going to have a lot of material here in India. This, this isn't really doing much yet, but at some point we're going to marry it with this. And it'll be a, it'll be a nice little epic land battle in Asia here. So we'll decide next turn if we want to take these eight guys and drop them down into uh, Burma. Or if we want to drop them into Manchuria or Berry and send them that way. Or have them build, this, build on this stack. So we got some options. Um, I do, I mean, I'm pretty much not going to do anything with Alaska, I don't think. And we'll just keep an eye on this fleet here. Um, if he moves within striking distance of our fleet here, we'll probably try to take it out since the subs defend at a one. But again, we'll see if and when that happens. But that'll do it for Japan's round 14. Mannix is up for UK round 14 and Russia round 15. And if I have Germany, I'll see you in round 15 for Germany. Okay, US 14. Uh, probably should just yeah he has landed here um, one, two three four five six cool let's kill it at least but we have to come down here I think now one two three four that's fine we'll drop off like maybe four troops here and we'll have the bomber come down as well to, to support the, the trading I think probably the best way to do with that so we can grab one two yeah because it the problem with this is I probably should preemptively land down here I'm thinking about obviously going for fallout Moscow here. But, yeah, two transports just preemptively would have been better, I think, just to cut this off quicker. But still, it's fine. Right, anyway. Um, so having two sent down here. I'm not even bothering to count at the moment, to be honest. I'm just dropping in 12 for <laughs> each time. So, realistically then, we have five that can't go anywhere. So three, there'll be seven here left over. Okay. It's not perfect logistics by any means. Let's do that. Um, surprised he's not pushed this back further. Well, I've not worked out the odds, so he, I may have odds, I'm not sure. I'm not sure at all. But this is quite a nice deterrent though, I guess, just to stop the aggression. If we can put it in range, if we put it in 56, we can at least try and stop any aggression towards Alaska. Or at least any big big landings against Alaska. He can still probably sack a transport to drop one off, but that'll be probably a waste on his part, I think. So park it in 56. Maybe send the fighter back towards Europe would be better. That's that. Yeah, let's do that. 
Alright, combat then. Um, let's kill that transport. Although I suppose we are landing... <laughs> we're going one, two, three, four. I suppose five would be safer actually. Going to Madagascar instead. Because here is obviously... Yeah, that's, that's, ter that's terrible. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. Because it's all ones. The battle will take about 20 minutes to complete. Because no one's going to hit anything. But still, eventually he'd probably win that. Um, here, one, two, three, four. Not quite. They're almost... Oh no, they are in range. What am I thinking? Shit. What am I thinking of? Of course I can range this. It's one, two. Alright. Transport lives then for now, I suppose. We'll just bring it down here and help out, I suppose. Um, bombing raids. Well, the good news is Germany is completely uh, ruined. The complexes, at least. Both are completely bombed to hell, which is nice. Uh, I don't want to do any bombing raids against Japan because they're not my target. J Germany's my target. And I don't want to sacrifice um, an expensive US bomber for possibly doing very little. Well, if it dies in the first roll, that's just a complete waste because Japan's got enough money to repair anyway. It's not a big problem. Germany's the one, the target, so I'm not doing any raids against Japan. It just seems like a waste. Uh, yeah, no, no attack moves to do with this round, I think. Let's do it. Let's get dropped off. If we at least park the bomber somewhere down here, we can at least deter this transport moving any further. That's fine. Uh, it would have been nice to kill it, but again, it's just too risky. So let's get you moved up. Let's get you transferred across. Yeah, I keep thinking that I've built way too much fleet this this game. Way too much fleet. It's, it's everywhere. It's not accomplishing a whole lot, to be fair. And this is more of a deterrent, I suppose. Um, he's obviously built more as well, so it's a, it's it's mutual. But yeah, we're both not accomplishing a whole lot with the with our fleets. I don't like buying extra fleet if I can avoid it. But some of the things around here, some of the sloppy bit by me meant I had to, unfortunately. But there we go. Um, are we safe up here? Four? No, we're not. One, two, three, four, five. Oof. Oh, actually worked out. So we've got 14... No, we've got 13. So we've almost got a full tr full load there, which, <laughs> which is fine. Okay. Alright, fair play. Well, I suppose the good news is we've got Hawaii as well, and Australia still stands. He might kill it this round. I might have to pull back just to avoid getting wiped straight away by this these guys. But we do hold Australia in round 14, which is nice. Um, okay, should be it. One, two, three, four. Yeah. All right, two up here. Because this is a bit scary. We have got three fours versus four on an extra with a, an extra hit point as well, but it's just a bit worrying. We might have to build something extra um, on this seven transport because he, he, could, he, he could go for that and win. There's a, a very real possibility he goes for that, just plays aggressive because these bombers aren't going to be useful on defense, so he may as well try and take a big fight. He's behind the game, which also makes him more dangerous because he might try and take a risk like that. So I think we probably do need to drop maybe an extra destroyer here or something. Just oh, I'm, I've been saying I don't want to drop more fleet. I'm talking about dropping more fleet, but I'm just trying to be as safe as possible here, as much as I can be. Think about that next time. These map notes are useless, by the way. They just don't. Maybe it's just me, but. I want map notes that pop back in your face when you log back in, like, well, at least you can select the options to do that. That's a really important thing you couldn't miss. I want a pop-up that can actually, it's like a notification that drops up in the middle of the screen. You must remember this. Not these little crappy little notes everywhere. I mean, they're, they're useful, but you got to remember getting get in the habit of checking them. There's so much untapped potential in this game, there really is. I think Beamdog have just... Uh, I've done enough, I think they're just going to sit back. They're a very small team, I know, but they feel like they could do so much more with this game, but just, I just don't see them doing. <laughs> I think they're 
pretty much done at this point with this game. It's more maintenance, just refreshing the seasons and, you know, the odd bug, bug fix here and there. But major updates, I don't see anything else happening. I really don't, to be frank. Which is a sad thing, um, but that may prove me wrong. We'll see. Anyway, how are we looking here? This this looks extremely comfortable now. I'm pretty sure we can pull these guys back. It's 12.33. Oof. It's 80. Yeah, we're pulling them back. <laughs> right, they can pull back now. That's, that's more than safe. We'll pull those back. This guy's back. Um, I could take these two, but I'm not going to. Because they're just going to be a waste, I think. Why did we bob India? I don't get that. Why did we do that? Let's pull out all these guys. So we've got 20 units coming back now, which is going to be awesome, actually. Um, we've got, still got 12 that are essentially dead zoning. These three. This one's completely dead zoned, but these two are dead zoned from the, these guys. So all, they can do, all they can do is tread lightly. But we are getting some double pressure now, we're getting 26 stack moving forward, which will probably come to Xinjiang. So could we in fact do this? Move the 8 forward, keep the 4 here, so we're going to replenish the 8 here to keep this dead zoned. Then we've got more to use against these guys. Do that. So forty seven plays four fifteen, nice. I mean Rush is looking very healthy I have to say. That's that's is a big bonus, they've got a huge stack. I mean with these guys coming through as well we've got like we've got a shit ton of units, which is fantastic. So obviously we're going to fly the fighters out of here when we need to, but I think the infantry, infantry can stay because we're, we're looking confident here in Germany, so I don't think we need to risk going all out and pulling everything out here now. That we just hold corpses, keep this position locked down. Um, what we could do is some more artillery there, I think. We're getting a big batch, big batch coming through, which is nice, so two rounds, these guys will be in play, at least in the corpses. Yeah. Looking fairly positive, I think. So, just a slow build up from the US now until we get enough numbers. How, how are we doing now? 47. We're getting there. We're getting there. Power wise, we're obviously way ahead of Germany at this point, but that's obviously in fleet as well. Um, I think land wise, we're probably fairly even with everything around the board. Maybe the slight advantage. So, I want to make sure we've got. Overwhelming odds to take, but I'm not going to risk taking it early because there's no need to risk risk an early take. We just wait until we're, we're definitely strong enough. So we've got like a 99% chance on the, on the calculator, and then we'll go for it and finish it off. Because I think Russia is in no immediate danger at the moment. They've got plenty of troops to hold off, so we're which in turn means we're in no immediate rush to take Germany. So we can play it play it slow. But one thing I do need to calculate or just keep an eye on is this these uh. <laughs> German planes because they could potentially swing the game back because they could delay my reinforcements for quite a while. Not swing the game back entirely, but just you know chip away at my lead quite significantly if they got a good a good round of hits in on a, on a fleet somewhere, particularly with a lot of transports. So I'll watch that. Anyway, that's my uh, Russian round fifteen. See you back for. Uh, UK15.